Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a math trick that you can do in OneNote. Um, this is my web version of OneNote, but if you don't like working in the web app, that's fine. You can always open it in the desktop app and use your local version. So to start this off, I open up a new blank canvas for myself. So I did this by adding a new section to my OneNote notebook. And I'm going to be using the inking tool that is under draw. Now, typically if I use draw, I am working from a touch screen. So maybe it's my phone or my tablet. Um, my laptop um, is a two in one, so I can use a stylus. Um, right now, I am just on a regular PC, so I do not have um, a drawing tablet hooked up to this PC. So I'm going to be inking with my mouse, which is always interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my equation, my math equation, here on the screen. So I'm going to grab my pen, and I'm going to say 3. N plus two equals seventeen. Okay, that's actually not too bad considering that I'm using my mouse. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my lasso tool and I'm going to highlight the equation that I just drew. So right here is our marquee select, and I'm just going to highlight the ink, and then I'm going to click the math button from the format bar. And what this does is it interprets the inking into um, typed text, and in this case, they call it ink to math. Now, if there's a mistake, um, for instance, my seven last time that I tried to draw this was interpreted as a one, what I could do is click fix it, and then it allows me to reinterpret um, what the um, drawing is. But since it was accurate, it's 3n plus 2 equals 17, I'm going to click ink to math. And as you can see, it converts it into the math equation. Now I get to select other actions. So here I can ask it to solve for n. And here it has determined that n equals 5. I can ask it to show me the steps that it used to solve the equation. And here it is giving me the steps. I can drag this over to capture the steps that were used. And then another cool feature, if I can get it to scroll down, my camera's in the way, so I'm gonna move my camera over here, <laughs> is to generate a practice quiz. And this is going to generate the quiz into Microsoft Forms, which you can then share with students, or you can actually embed right into your learning management system, because it will give you an HTML embed code. And you can select how many questions you would like to have generated in the quiz. This is a really awesome opportunity to quickly generate some practice questions for students um, that you can offer maybe as an, um, an additional assignment or just a plain old um, formative assessment in your online course. Let me click generate quiz. And then you can see here, here is the math, the practice math quiz. Um, and it has provided three similar equations for the student to solve and then submit. And then if you want to generate steps for solving each of these, you can just repeat the same process. Um, and then you could offer those steps as feedback to the um, quiz response. So I hope that this was a helpful tip um, for all you math lovers out there. 
Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to learn.